Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask a Grim. Well, uh, this month's certainly been an interesting one, but, uh, yeah, had to cancel the DLC for the, uh, David Grimm What If, because, uh, stuff coming up. More so the Damon story, but, yeah. Uh, long story there. But, um, not important right now. <laughs> we got some questions to answer. And thank you very much for those who asked your questions. I really do appreciate it. And now, let's get into it. Nico Cipher one asks, Any thoughts on Laser Pig and favorite silly faces of Robotnik from the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, I've seen Laser Pig's content and, uh, it's interesting. Uh, as for silly faces, uh, not really any come off the top of my head outside of the weird in-between of Robotnik doing the no scene. Like, in-between animations, what I mean. Like, that's kind of funny, but that's probably not intentional. It's unintentionally funny, basically. <laughs> but I would probably go with that. A Justice 90 asks, Favorite inner and outer Sailor Senshi, and have you read any total drama fanfiction that involves shuffling the cast? Uh, favorite inner Senshi... Gotta give it to Usagi, but if I can't go with that, then more than likely... Well, funny enough, I've been watching the some parts of the series with friends recently. Um, I'm gonna go with Sailor Mercury. Like, she's a bean. Fuck you, monster! The DDD girls will finish them! <laughs> and Timion! I believe in the words! And the guardians who fought for it! Uh, favorite outer Senshi? Still Uranus after all this time. Like, I just love this character. As for Tunnel Drama fanfiction, no, surprisingly, I haven't read it. I should get to it at some point, but I just keep forgetting to get to it. I imagine it's interesting, though. Dan Alec asks, Name one fictional character you hate, and what would you do to fix the character? Sorry for the terrible reading there. Um... One fictional character I fucking hate is probably Black Doom from the Shadow of the Hedgehog game. Largely because they're just written fucking poorly. And as for what I do to fix the character, uh, give them better writing. Because, uh, Jesus Christ, they're poorly written and inconsistent. Gamer of Gamers asks, What are your thoughts on AI? And what are your thoughts on Metroid Prime Remastered, and do you think the rest of the trilogy will get it? I think AI is fine in concept. I don't think it's going to necessarily take over jobs, because, as shown multiple times by this point, um, computers can get it wrong. <laughs> I think there was a fucking video a while back of the AI fucking up a chess match. I think it's interesting in concept, but I don't think people should be taking advantage of it. I guess an example I can think of here is, it's basically a figurative fountain of youth. You don't want to take advantage of it. As for Metro Prime Remastered, I haven't played it, but it looks alright. Do I think the rest of the trilogy will get it remastered? Maybe? It'd be kind of cool to get it on Switch, because the only other time to play would be on the Wii U, and, well, the store's fucking dead, so that's not happening. But yeah, I'd say so. Matthew7 asks, Have you seen Legion of Superheroes, the 2000s one, and what would you think of the Soulsborne franchise started to add in easy modes? Um, I recall seeing Legion of Superheroes back in the day. It was alright. What would I think if the Soulsborne franchise started to add it? I'd shrug. Like, if it doesn't break the fucking game... Because they added in an easy mode, then I'm fine with it. Zansprenis asks, Have you heard that Christine Chan is out of jail? Yes. Who the fuck paid the bail? <laughs> what the fuck? I finally won! Who's mooing now? Okay, we got a bunch of questions here from Fanboy X Jr. Have you watched the Tugs cartoon? If so, any thoughts? Did you see the Lupin Zero anime? Have you heard that J.K. Rowling will be involved in the Harry Potter remake by HBO? Have you played the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? It's always a good game. Do you have plans to play the Advanced Wars 1 and 2 reboot camp? Did you hear that Pokemon Go will shut down due to lack of players? Did you watch the Super Mario movie? If so, is it bad or good? What do you think of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Is it just a repeat of the previous games? Have you played the Resident Evil 4 remake? If so, is it a good or bad game? And what do you think of Transformers Rise of the Beasts? Okay, let's go down the list. I have not seen the Tugs cartoon. The closest I've seen is Theodore Tugboat from back in the day, but... From what I've looked at, Tugs kind of looks similar to it, it's just an earlier version to an extent. But no, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the Lupin Zero anime. I really should probably get into Lupin the Third though, because I've heard really good things about it. It's just a case of it being on the backlog. I have heard about J.K. Rowling getting involved in the remake, and I'm just like, J.K., can you just fuck off, please? Like, you know that fucking meme from Trailer Park Boys where the guy fucking tells the park warden or whatever, I'll pay a hundred dollars to fuck off. 
Like, that's kind of basically me, but with J.K. Rowling. Like, I'll pay $100 just to get the fuck away. I have played Murder, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a pretty good game, and hey, it was a nice April Fool's Day prank, considering that uh, a good majority of, say, YouTube videos going over April Fool's Day was fucking dog shit. God, Doodle Tones is fucking new, and so many of the places is such a fucking disappointment. And that's just one example, by the way. It's not the only one. I have no plans currently to play the Advance Wars remake, but I am glad that it's out, because, hey, Advance Wars got a some fans and hey, it's nice to see they're being pleased with this remake even if it did take a while to come out awkward i haven't heard about it being shut down but if it is well that's neantic's own fault because of their own like stupidity regarding shit like the remote raid passes and a whole bunch of other shit that uh they've done over the years that's what you get for being selfish and stupid so i don't know if it's necessarily true i don't think it is but if it was then um that sucks to suck me, Antic. Maybe you shouldn't have been stupid. I have seen the Mario movie, and uh, surprisingly, it was really good. I, I'm i still trying to wrap my head around that. Like, Jesus. How the fuck did they pull it off? How? How? As for Scarlet and Violet, I think it's fine. It is poorly optimized, however, and there's a lot of fucking bugs. Like, that much has not changed. But, similar to what I've said about shit like Gen 8, or rather Sword and Shield, just another fucking Pokemon game with some new bells and whistles. This one just has poor optimization. But if they're able to iron out those glitches, I could just say it's just another fucking average Pokemon game with new bells and whistles to it. Although the DLC is horribly fucking priced, and I think I go over that in my uh, favorite Paldea Pokemon script. So that's gonna be fun to record. I have not played the Rosie 4 remake. i am heard and seen footage of it though. It is really good. So one day. And what do I think of Transformers Rise of the Beasts? It looks promising. Atreus Lecoq asks, Have you heard that Clone High is getting Season 2? And any thoughts on the Warner Brothers Multiverses game? Yes, I am familiar with Clone High getting a Season 2. That's pretty fucking cool. As for Multiverses, it existed. Angry Cowboy asks, Have you seen Gilda Poo's videos on Lago, Peaches, and Lyo? Have you heard that Super Mario Logan sent photos of nude women to minors? And any thoughts on the Netflix Cleopatra controversy? I have heard that Mario Logan did that shit, and uh, what the fuck? As for Netflix, from what I looked into, the controversy seems to be about the race of Cleopatra being represented. Like, what it is. And I can't really comment much on it because I don't have much experience with the subject. Regarding Cleopatra, of course. Not to mention, I'm not Egyptian, so I don't even know if... What they're doing with the special is historically accurate, or what have you. I I don't have much stake in this conversation. So I don't really have much thoughts of it either, unfortunately. Common Homer Simpson asks, Any thoughts on Meta 57 the second? Whatever happened to David was here? And have you seen Doodle Tones' 9 hour long video on Necrocoda? Meta is, uh, frustrating. Super fucking frustrating. And their recent video going over the... Becca VTuber branding was a, a fucking disaster. But, uh, yeah. Man, that's frustrating. Vortex is avoiding his taxes. I don't like Sonic 2 as much as I should. Wait, what the fuck is this music? Like, it sounds like the fucking... Sounds like somebody's fucking vomiting in the background or just having an, an epileptic seizure. Like, my dude, help him! Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you say there was only one movie you didn't like on this fucking list? As a matter of fact, there's only one movie on this list I actually hate. I do dislike most of them, but I only hate okay. one of them. Shape of Water, you can clearly tell it's supposed to be humanoid. I'm at least going off these scenes. And I stop getting fucking fish sex. I'm just looking for the fishman thing. This is going to sound so fucking weird out of context. <laughs> Eliza was 41 years old at the time of this movie's release. That is too old to be sexualized. What are you talking about? Look, it's okay if you like these movies. And even if you regard it as your favorite movie, I don't exactly agree with that, but I understand it's your opinion. But a blank of this movie literally doesn't have any faults whatsoever is where I draw the line. I personally regard Frozen as the best movie ever, much better than this. I'm not afraid to admit that movie's faults, because these guys are because they're too blinded to the notion that Deadpool is literally perfect in every single way. Oh, yeah, I'm not going after the people who like this movie. I hear me going after the people who like this movie. Brilliant fucking deduction there. As for David was here, they're still around every now and again doing artwork and stuff. They don't really do much in terms of content nowadays, but basically... After leaving commentaries, they're just doing their own thing. And as for Doodle Tones' 9-hour video, yes, I have seen it. It had some pacing issues, admittedly, in some sections, but it was good stuff, ultimately. 
And the final set of questions comes from the sleepy commentator. Whatever happened to Illini Guy 34 and any thoughts on Sean S? When it comes to Illini Guy slash Ernie, they're still doing their thing. Like, they're just vibing, basically. Not much else really of note with them. As for Sean S, I don't really have much thoughts in regards to them. They're just a thing. They exist. So that's about it for this installment of Ask a Grim. Once again, thank you very much for your comments. I really do appreciate it. And if you have a question for the next installment of Ask a Grim, let me know in the comments. But until then, I'm David Grimm, and thank you very much for watching.